Chapter 4. Descriptions. The class bully was a mean, mad moron, an insane idiot, a dopey dweeb, a prize poop head, a narrow-minded, no-hoper, a hurtful, horrible person, and everyone knew it. The class beauty was Alicia. Gorgeous, a great singer, a great looker, funny, talented, keen on fizzy feet. Called him Dave. Fizzy feet was good and tall, good and skinny, good and quiet, a good laugh, according to Alicia, good at maths, good at being friendly, not so good with the class bully, though. Chapter 5 Poems Posted Around the School by You Know Who When I see Scabby Dave, how I laugh. He's got legs that like a knock-kneed giraffe. And his bum is so smelly it appeared on the telly cause he never once gets in the bath. There once was a moron called Dave, who belonged in a zoo or a cave. He had holes in his clothes and snot in his nose and his eyebrows could do with a shave. Said directly to Fizzy Feet. You're a big dork head called Davy. You're thicker than twelve day old gravy. My dog did a poo that was smarter than you. From your breath I wish someone would save me. Chapter 6. Put in the boot in. Pick it up, Fizzy Feet, Fizzy Feet picked it up. Give it here, Fizzy Feet, Fizzy Feet gave it up. The bully despised Davy for a coward and a meekling. He gave Dave so much grief and hurt he thought Dave was a weakling. So whenever it would suit him, he would gladly put the boot in. Chapter 7. Standing Proud Davy never shouted, never bolted. He stood his ground, he watched and he waited. He did not seem to realise the effect just standing there, not uttering a word, had on the class bully, the school bully. A faint, sad smile would play across his lips, and he stood before the one who hurt him. A smile that just had to be wiped away, washed away, knocked away, smashed far away. But Davy just stood proud and never spoke.